The Indian Armed Forces carried out 24 precision missile strikes on nine terror targets deep inside Pakistan and POK, and all Indian Air Force pilots involved in the operation are accounted for. India deployed Rafale fighter jets armed with scalp cruise missiles and hammer standoff weapons, Su-30 aircraft with BrahMos, and loitering munitions to strike nine terror targets inside Pakistan and POK. Indian Air Force's Akash surface-to-air missile has shot down a Pakistani JF-17 fighter jet, and multiple pictures from the site including the RD-93 engine, confirms the aircraft to be a JF-17. Pakistan has falsely claimed to have downed five Indian fighter jets by showing ejected drop tanks, as no Indian fighter jets crossed the international border, and the strikes were conducted by long-range standoff weapons. One of the Chinese HQ-9BE missile fired by Pakistan has crashed in Rajasthan, and the missile is pretty much intact, that will be transported to a DRDO facility for strip-down and technical analysis. Parts of a Pakistani-fired Chinese PL-15 missile has been recovered, that includes highly secretive seeker system of PL-15, which will be transferred to DRDO for analysis. Pakistani media has reported, that the Pakistani defense minister has retracted his claim of Indian prisoner of war, saying that no Indian troops were captured. Indian Ministry of Defense is reportedly contemplating a ban on the export of 155mm artillery shells to prioritize domestic needs. India is set to deliver the second batch of its indigenously developed Akash-1S air defense missile system to Armenia after July 2025. Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has showcased its 155mm MAG-mounted artillery gun at Defence Exhibition Athens 2025 in Greece. The DRDO has issued a request for proposal for the development of radar warning receiver and jammer radome, to enhance the electronic warfare capabilities of its unmanned aerial vehicles. IIT Hyderabad DRDO and ISRO have improved the creep resistance of 3D printed in Konal 718, which is a nickel-based superalloy widely used in rocket engines and jet engines. In response to Indian Army's stringent requirement of 400 units of 155mm 52 caliber towed gun system weighing under 15 tons, the DRDO will offer a low-weight variant of its advanced towed artillery gun system. However, this lighter variant has a notable compromise, as it will feature a 23-liter chamber, instead of the original ATAG's larger 25-liter chamber. Amid reports that India is likely to join global combat air program involving UK, Japan and Italy, experts have said, that by securing access to Tempest's next-generation technologies, India could not only enhance the AMCA but also lay the foundation for sixth-generation fighter jets by 2040. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.